Hi guys, my name is Pip and this is Trading Kitchen. Welcome to this new video in which uh, I want to make a, a deepening of my 81 uh, strategy video. Uh, I, uh, I hope you, you, you saw the, the last video of my uh, intraday strategy and uh, I hope you're following the, the developing of this strategy uh, with, uh, by the trading journal that I, I will post. I uh, will share here uh, below the, the comment section. So in this video I want to tell you how to avoid fake entries, okay? Um, basically uh, avoid stop loss, okay? Um, there is a few things that you have to keep in mind to enter correctly the market okay so this is my template we are obviously on SP futures and uh, uh, this is my template so we have uh, the the white EMA 200 EMA uh, the yellow one is the 14 EMA which is a uh, one of the um, basic tool that they use for this strategy uh, and then we have this uh, FX market session, which is a very good, uh, a very good uh, tool uh, suggested by Artie. And uh, uh, basically, I, as you can see, just want to highlight the uh, pre-opening and opening session of uh, European and uh, and USA session. Okay, and so the first. Uh, uh, the first thing that you have to keep in mind is to uh, uh, avoid opening any position, any trade uh, inside here, just because um, during this time, uh, usually market uh, gets a lot of manipulations, okay? So you have to wait for the opening to be completed, okay? Uh, to, to, to consider, uh, to consider uh, opening positions, okay? Second thing that you have to keep in mind, which is most important, one of the most important things that that you have to uh, to be very careful about is uh, um, are the weeks. Okay, so let me show you an example. In, like in this case, so my strategy tells that you can enter after breakout. Okay, like in this case. Okay with the 14 EMA uh, with a good declination of 14 EMA I suggested uh, greater than 40 degrees okay like in this case I suppose yes we have 56 so it is very very good but anyway uh, this is not enough and this is a very good example as you can see just because uh, so the candle the five minute candle close beyond this support which is uh, the main condition okay that you have to, to to care about but as you can see before closing price made this very very big impulse okay that you can see on this with this week okay so what does it mean it means that price refused this level okay this one okay uh, so what do you have to expect after the closing if the close if the closing candle is beyond the support uh, you have to expect that this rejection will follow uh, with the next candle. In fact, like this, okay, as you can see, we have a strong movement to the up. Okay, so if my conditions are enter on the closing and set the stop loss just a few pips above the candle in case of short trade, above the opening candle, or the high candle to be honest high candle so the same candle okay that you have you have be 
uh, you have to wait okay so for for opening just put the stop loss a few pips uh, above the, the high of this candle but as you can see in this case it was not enough and the reason is which is because there is this strong impulse okay the strong impulse so basically this is not good so you have to wait you have to wait for the following support okay to be closed okay to be broken sorry and in this case was the same thing okay you have this week so basically you have to uh, 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 you have to open a trade when you see the body of the candle so much higher okay uh, uh, than the the week for example like in this case okay so this is a very good a very good signal the reason is which the the, the pressure of the sellers in this case was enough to win against the buyers okay so be very careful to the to the week so the third things i want to uh to tell you and i want you to uh, i want you to, to care about to not to uh, uh get a lot of stop losses is the view app okay which is this line this blue line I use the standard settings. I don't. I don't care about upper, lower band. Okay, but this is a very good tool. Just because basically it makes an average uh, putting together volumes and price. Okay, and so this is very very good. So this is very very good. This tool just because as all the volumes indicators. Uh, consider three variables price time and obviously volumes okay all the other indicators uh, do not consider volumes okay so they do consider only two variables which, which are uh, price and time okay so when price is so above the view up you can go short but remember that the view up um, works like like a, a support area or support resistance area. So, for example, and this thing is, is the same uh, with 200 EMA. Okay. Like in this case. Uh, so this is a very good. We have a divergence here. This is another strategy, but you can use. The same strategy okay to to find a very good trade to do so in this case if you wait for this uh support to be broken or better this one which is uh which is also the the lower uh, the lower price okay the low of the euro opening so if you open here a trade okay here as you can see price is too close to the view up okay so you have to expect a big rejection of the price when view up is uh, is touched okay this is very very important this is very very important okay so the same thing is for 200 dmas as you can see The 200 EMA works very good as support and resisting as well. Okay, so the main rule is opening a long position when price is above the 200 EMA and the sell position when price is below the 200 EMA. So um, doing this, you avoid the possibility that uh, uh, the, the 200 MA and the view up as well uh, uh, work as uh, uh, a strong rejection to the price okay and in a strategy like this which is five minute based 
um, avoid these rejections uh, could be very, very good for you. So this, for example, it is a very good trade. Okay, this is the support that we that needs to be broken. Okay, candle here close below the support. Uh, the price is below the view app and it is below the 200 EMA, so we can go short. Okay, the body is uh, is big enough. Okay. We don't have a very strong uh, week, so we can set our stop loss on the high of the sin candle risk reward ratio three. Okay, and that's it. Uh, I used to, uh, this is up to you. I used to move the breakdown, the, the break even to the entry. Okay, so risk free when price is. When price reaches the uh, one to one risk reward ratio, okay, and then I leave it uh, running. Okay, so this trade will be good as well, but there is one another another thing that I want to tell you. When you see this strong candle, okay, so we have a very very big momentum, okay. Uh, that follows another big momentum so the main impulse had already started too long time before okay in this case we are five minutes in frame so one two three four five candles so 25 minutes uh, before okay uh, the, the the opening of the trade uh so if you see a very strong momentum you have to expect that the price is going to uh, deflate just a little bit okay so what does it mean it means that probably the price need to breathe okay so start a retracement okay so if the rules say says that you can enter on the closing candle so here with the stop loss here as you as you can see the, the the entry is good okay because price moved to the down well probably it's not enough but as you can see price needs to breathe okay so there is a, just a little retracement to then move to the down okay again so the one thing you can you can do here is just wait for the retracement okay wait for the retracement and using for example fibonacci okay to wait for the price to come to, to go uh, above the 0 0.5 okay which is our premium zone in this case okay and uh, it could be very very good and three year obviously but the reason is that you uh try to uh not to to, uh, to have a lot of drawdown okay guys that's enough for this video i hope i hope you like i will uh, will share the video strategy in the comment section below with uh with the trading uh, journal uh, if you join my discord group uh, you will be able to, to take a look to my uh, trading ideas that I will uh, that I share every every day on the pre-opening Europe um, on the Europe pre-opening and uh, what else I think it's enough let me know what you think about this video so same stuff um, subscribe the channel uh, uh, ring the bell, okay, and uh, but I just want to know what you think about. So using the comment section below to 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 give me to give me your your doubts and uh, your thoughts, okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.